Greetings, one and all. Welcome back to NHL 19 Franchise Mode with your Winnipeg Jets. Yes, we are back here again to play the 2019 NHL Playoffs. Last episode, we of course played through the second half of the 18-19 NHL season, our first season at the helm of the Winnipeg Jets, and we finished the season with a record of 45 wins, 29 losses, and 8 overtime or shootout losses, which was good enough for the first wildcard spot in the Western Conference, and fourth place in the incredibly competitive and incredibly stacked Central Division. It was super stacked. Four different teams were very much competing for it. I believe five teams from the Central Division managed to make it through to the playoffs. That shows just how competitive the Central Division was compared to the Pacific. So also, last episode, we signed a few free agent wingers in the names of Mike Camilleri and Chris Versteeg in order to add some more depth to our lineup to make sure that we have enough players going forward just in case there's a few injuries to our lineup in order to help us win the Stanley Cup. Our first round matchup, our first round series is against the Calgary Flames, who had a worse record than us. They had one point less than us during the regular season. So a very even matchup here, but let me show you the playoff tree for the 2019 NHL playoffs. So in the Western Conference, we have the Avalanche against the Stars, the Blues against the Wild, the LA Kings against the Vegas Golden Knights. Oh, who's going to take the throne there, ladies and gentlemen? I guess we'll find out. And the Flames against the Jets. So one Canadian matchup in the Western Conference. Then in the East, we have the Capitals against the Islanders. Well, the Capitals have basically got themselves through to the second round because the Islanders can't win a playoff series. Then we have the uh, Penguins against the Blue Jackets, the Panthers against the Maple Leafs, and the Tampa Bay Lightning against the Boston Bruins. So a repeat of last year's second round with those two teams. But this year, they're playing in the first round. So two very competitive teams. Of course, Mark Scheifele came second in point scoring in the NHL behind Alexander Ovechkin. First in assists, but Alexander Ovechkin's 60-goal season managed to help him clinch the most amount of points by any player in the league. And surprisingly, Conor McDavid only had like 63 points, I think. He had 32 goals, I think, on the season, but he had a very disappointing year. So let's hold a team meeting, check our lines, make sure everything's working, and then we'll get started. So for those of you who don't know how I run the playoffs, period by period simulation, unless one, we're... It's going into the third period and there's a goal difference or a two goal difference. We'll times eight simulate. It depends what the score is, what the situation is. Or if we are facing elimination. If we face elimination, we do eight times simulation for the entire game. So uh, game one of the series, whether it's game one or game seven, need the best every night. Most of my players love it. That's what I like to hear. So it, we're currently suffering from a few injuries in this lineup as well. Luckily, not to anybody major, not to any of our huge guys. So we have Nick Patan, Brendan Lemieux, of course, we brought up at the end of last season because uh, of the few injuries that we had. Nikolai Ehlers is up at an 86 overall. That's pretty cool. And we've got Line A, Shifley, Wheeler. We're not changing that line at all. Well, I mean, Shifley is 26, Line A's 20, and Wheeler's 32. So there's a lot of different ages there. Um, so one thing I also want to do, I want to look at the, the, the defense looks quite decent, to be fair. I want to go to roster moves. I want to make a couple of changes. And the changes I want to make, I want to get rid of Pullman. Because now we're in the playoffs, waivers don't take effect. So I'm going to send Pullman down to the minors. He'll be more use there. And then in the system, I want to take a look at who we've got. I want to bring up Chris Versteeg. And the reason I want to do that is this. He is a depth player. He will probably be able to replace Patan. Because what I'm thinking is, we've got a few injuries. Got a couple of things going on here. But I think we can set up a decent fourth line here. So I believe Brendan Lemieux, yeah, he's a fourth line forward. So if he goes on the fourth line, Roslovic is a fourth line forward and Marco Dano is a fourth line forward. So if we do that, if we put Lemieux, Roslovic and Dano on the fourth line, then we've got a solid fourth line. We've got players that are supposed to be on the fourth line. Then if we chuck in Vestig instead of Patan, he's 79 overall. So he's got a couple more overall points and he like makes more sense to be there on the wing. So yeah, I, I think that's brilliant. I think that's the only real move I want to make. Just add Chris Versteeg and take Patan out. For example, if Versteeg gets injured or another player gets injured, Patan can come in. That's the whole reason why I signed an extra few players. But there we go. So, April 8th, 2019 at the Scotiabank Saddle Dome. Winnipeg against Calgary for our 2019 Stanley Cup run. We start with two away games in Calgary. Let's get this done, Winnipeg. Let's do this. So, Shifley against Sam Bennett for the opening face-off of the 2019 Stanley Cup. First period. Okay, it is a 1-0 lead to us. Mark Scheifele scores with 18.33 left. 90 seconds in, roughly. 13 shots to 4 in favour of Winnipeg, though. Wow, that's crazy. Well done. 
Well done, Jets. Good defensive work there. Let's just keep it up. Get an insurance marker. Win this game, no problem. Come on, boys. Second period. Okay, they've managed to tie the game by the looks of it. Mark Jankowski scores on Connor Hellebuck. 20 shots to 14 in favour of Winnipeg, though. Times they simulate the third period. Come on, Winnipeg. Break this tie. Brendan Lemieux. Good job. And then Matthew Perot adds one as well. Beautiful. He had over a 50-point season, Matthew Perot. So I'm quite happy with him. Very good job there, gents. We've got that insurance marker. We'll just let the period wind down. If it goes 4-1, we'll just sim the rest. But it looks like we're going to take the win here because we've had a solid defensive job. Wow, well played, boys. Well played. Matthew to Chuck manages to get one back. Oh, my God. What? No! So two goals in the final minute of the third period, and the Calgary Flames have tied this up. I proper jinxed myself there, didn't I, ladies and gents? Oh, my goodness. As if. Matthew Tuchuk, then Jankowski. Oh. If they win this game, I'm not going to be very happy. 31 shots to 23 in favour of Winnipeg. Times they simulate over time. Come on, Winnipeg. Get this win, please. Power play. Power play. Okay, can't quite score on the power play. And it looks like Johnny Gaudreau has scored for the Calgary Flames. And they take a 4-3 overtime win in game one of round one. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me, Winnipeg? Seriously? We were 3-1 up. And in the final minute, you allow two goals. Oh, that's so disappointing. Let's hold a team meeting. I've got to talk to these guys. Fellas, what are you playing at? What is going on here, gents? Right, the measure of what our team is like. Good, good. Come on, get back in this, boys. This is disappointing. We've got to take this game, and then we'll take both at home. Here we go. Game two of round one. If we don't win this, oh my goodness. Sean Monaghan against Mark Shifley for the opening face-off of game two. Come on, Jets. Win this game, please. First period. Okay, looks like no score after the first. 14 shots to seven, doubling us up on shots of the Calgary Flames after the first. Oh, that's not good. Come on, Jets. Please win this game. Second period. Okay, it's a 2-2 game. Neil and Goudreau managed to get the opening goals, but Perot and Patrick Laine managed to score to, t uh, to tie the game again. 24 shots to 20 in favour of Calgary. So we've got some more shots on the board. Times they simulate the th third period. There you go. Blake Wheeler on an extended power play. And we've broken the tie. Five on three, five on four. Good kill there, Winnipeg. Very happy with that. So we're pretty much equaling the shots almost now. I mean, I say that. We're not really. Okay, no goals in the last minute, please. Calgary, I've had enough of that for one series. And as the period comes to an end, Roslovic scores the empty net goal. Thank you very much. A 4-2 victory for the Winnipeg Jets over the Calgary Flames. That's what we should have had last game. Patrick Laine, three points in two games already. So the finish, the finish flash the second is currently leading this team. I was going to just call him the finish flash, but of course that was Timu Solani, who did also play for the Jets, funnily enough. So, game number three of the series. If we take both games at home, we are one game away from going through to the second round. I want to erase that overtime loss. So, here we go. In Winnipeg, our first playoff game of the 2019 playoffs at the Bell MTS Place. Michael Backlund against Adam Lowry for the opening face-off. Come on, Jets. Do it for your home fans. First period. Okay, it is a one nothing lead to them. James, the real deal, Neil, scores on Connor Hellebuck. Nine shots to four in favour of Calgary. Over doubling us up on shots again. Great. Second period. Okay, looks like we've tied the game. Patrick Laine scores again on Mike Smith. 24 shots to 13, though, in favour of Calgary. I don't like that shot differential. Times eight simulate the third period. Power play for the Jets. Come on, boys. There you go. Matthew Perot scores on the power play. Looks like it was an extended power play as well. Decent. Matthew Perot has put up some goals in this series as well. I'm very happy with the second line scoring. Matthew Perot is getting hot, and I like it. Good. So, five minutes left in the game. Can we get that insurance marker? Can we get the insurance marker? It's probably going to be an empty netter. Nope. It's a 2-1 victory for the Winnipeg Jets. Good job, fellas. Good job indeed. So, apart from that overtime loss, we've allowed three goals in the last two games. Patrick Laine with a pair of goals and a pair of assists. Four points in three games. Good job. Good job, Patrick Laine. So, game number four of the series. If we win this, we are one game away from going through to the next round. So let's do it. Let's do it straight away. Straight in. Not wasting any time. Let's win this at home. So, Backland against Brian Little for the opening face-off. Come on, Jets. Let's win this game at home. First period. Okay, it's a one nothing lead to them. Michael Backland scores on Hellebuck. 12 shots to 11, though, in favour of Winnipeg. So we're getting more shots on goal, just not scoring anything. Come on, boys. Second period. Okay, it's a 3 nothing lead to them. Froelich and Backland. I'm going to try and time-zone simulate if it goes 4 nothing. 
Okay, good. Dustin Bufflin has scored one to cut the lead to two. Come on, Winnipeg. Let's have a comeback here. Let's have a comeback here. Power play. Power play. Come on, score on the power play, please. Nope. Okay, I guess not. Come on, Winnipeg. Fight back in this game. Fight back in this game, Winnipeg. You know you want to. Don't let them go 2-2 two, two, or 3-2, three, two, whatever it is. And a 3-1 victory for the Calgary Flames. Okay, so I think the series is tied, right? Yes, it's tied. So it's a 2-2 two, two series. Whoever wins the next game is one game away from going through to the next round of the playoffs. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Uh, the Manitoba Moose, did they make the playoffs? Yes, they did with a record of 45, 21, and 10. That's a pretty decent record, lads. Good job. So game number five. Come on, boys. We've got to win this in Calgary. Oh, this is a tense series. Little against Jankowski for the opening face-off of game five. In Calgary, the Scotiabank Saddledome. Come on, Jets. First period. Okay, we, we score the opening goal. Good. Blake Wheeler scores on Mike Smith. 17 shots to eight in favor of Winnipeg. Over doubling them up on shots. Good. I like it. Let's get that insurance marker. Take a 3-2 series lead. Second period. Okay, 2-0 lead. Good. Jake Morrissey scores on Mike Smith. 28 shots to 18. Times 8 simulator. It goes 3-0. I'm going to sim the rest of the period. And it's a 5-1 victory. Dustin Bufflin gets the opening goal. Just over 30 seconds in. Brian Little scores one. To Chuck breaks the shutout. And Matthew Perot scores another one. Yes, Matthew Perot. You are playing brilliantly. So Patrick Line, uh, Matthew Perot, six points in five games. And we are 3-2 up in this series. Let's try and shut this down in six games, please, Jets. So Vegas have already gone through to the next round. The Avalanche are almost through. The Blues are through. Tampa are through. A sweep by the Penguins. Toronto are almost through and the Caps are through. So most of the series are already complete. Let's hold a team meeting. See if we can boost up our players enough to see if they can shut this down. So put this. we need to put this series behind us. A few people agree. That's good. Come on, boys. Let's get this done. So game number six of the series. Here we go. Let's do this. At home. Let's shut them down at home. Get this done. Shifley against Sam Bennett for the opening face-off. Come on, Jets. Let's do this. First period. Okay, it is a 1-1 game. Hathaway scores, but Patrick Laine gets another one on Mike Smith to tie the game. 10 shots to 6 in favour of Winnipeg, though. Come on, Jets. You're doing a great job here, lads. Second period. Okay, no score after the second. 19 shots to 13 in favour of Winnipeg. Times 8 simulation. Can Winnipeg break this tie? I really hope they can. Thank you very much, Mark Scheifele. See, I ask, and one of my best players gives. And Patrick Laine adds his second of the game. Another power play, and Brian Little adds one. Oh, we're going through to the next round, ladies and gents. What a perfect effort. They gave up some very costly penalties, the Calgary Flames did at the start of this period. And we have taken, we've taken it and run with it. And that's what I like. So, a 4-1 victory in game six of the first round as the Winnipeg Jets are going through to the second round of the playoffs. Perfect. Nine points in six games for Patrick Laine, too. He's looking pretty decent. So we've managed to get through to the next round. Who will we play against? We'll likely play against Vegas or... Will we play against Vegas? I'm thinking we'll play against Vegas. Kyle Connor has returned to the lineup. Awesome. So let's just take a look at the roster moves. Um, oh, Mark Scheifele is playing at a 90 overall now. Perfect. Uh, Brassat, I'm going to send you down. That should be enough then to bring him back into the lineup. So let's just uh, hold a team meeting. I've just got to say well done to the boys, really. Line is up at an 89... I mean, he was at an 89 anyway. That series was a walk in the park compared to some of the other ones. I mean, I think that's quite fair, considering we're going to be going up against Vegas, who made the Stanley Cup Finals last year, and who now have Max Pacioretty in their lineup. Of course, that's not part of this at the moment. So, uh, Christopher Stegers and the like. Carl Connor is here. Good. So, that first, that second line's gotten a little bit better, but I'm going to I'm going to keep Perot on the second line, actually. He's had a very good first series. If he starts to drop off the goals, or if we go down a couple of games, then I'll stick Carl Connor back on that line. So, current round of the playoffs is over. Seth Griffith is back. Good. So, we are against Vegas. That's what I thought. Vegas were quite good against us in the regular season. But, I mean, it's a completely different ball game here in the playoffs. T-Mobile Arena. Winnipeg versus Vegas. April 23rd, 2019. The second round of the playoffs. Let's get this going, gents. Here we go. Come on, Winnipeg Jets. They beat us last year in the in the playoffs in the third round. Let's get it done. Shifley against Eric Howler for the opening face-off of round two. Come on, Jets. Oh, Shifley's already scored. Less than a minute in. Perfect. First period. Okay, it's a 2-1 lead. Marco Dano manages to score a goal as well. And Riley Smith manages to cut the lead to one. 
Six minutes 45 left in the first. We scored two goals on five shots. 11 shots to five in favour of Vegas there. Over doubling us up on shots, which isn't good, but we are winning 2-1. Let's get an ins another insurance marker, please, Winnipeg. Second period. Okay, they managed to get another one. But Matthew Perot scores another one on Flurry. There you go. 17 shots to 15 as well. So we've managed to cut the shot differential a little bit. Power play for us. Oh, we can't get that insurance marker. Come on, Winnipeg. Get that insurance marker on the power play. Okay, maybe not. I, I guess you don't want to. Thank you, Mark Scheifele. Scoring on Flower. I think we'll see him the rest of the period. A 4-2 victory. Once we get that insurance marker in the third, I'm quite happy. So Scheifele with a pair of goals. Nikolai Ehlers with three assists. Decent job. One of them on a Matthew Perot goal, I would assume. Uh, ah, Ben Sherratt is injured. But this is exactly why I wanted to get forwards to play forward and defence to play defence. Because I have a player that can replace him. He was 78 overall. I can bring in Joe Morrow, who's a 78 overall. You know, and he's going to be happy that he's in the lineup again. He shoots left, so we'll leave it like that. Yeah, that, that makes sense. So we take game one. 10 points in seven games for Mark Scheifele. It's going to be very interesting to see if we did win the cup, who came out, who comes out with the Con Smythe. So it's very close in terms of points at the moment. So, game number two of the series at T-Mobile Arena. Let's take this win and we can maybe sweep them at home. Here we go. Eric Howler against Nikolai Ehlers for the first face-off of game number two. First period. Okay, no score after the first. 12 shots to nine in favour of Vegas. Come on, Jets. Let's do this, boys. Second period. Okay, it's a 1-1 game. Ryan Reeves opens the scoring, but Chris Versteeg, the depth guy, the depth free agent that I signed, manages to, to tie the game again. Uh, 2.57 left in the second also. 23 shots to 21 in favour of Vegas. Right, times they seem late the third period. Come on, Jets. We're not getting any shots on goal here, boys. Thank you. Start getting some shots and we'll get some goals. Come on, Winnipeg. You know you want to win this game. I mean, it's in your bloody name. Winnipeg. Come on, win the game. No! Thomas Tatar scores. You're not even part of this team anymore. Go play for Montreal. Oh, oh, ah. Okay, we had, we had a power play there, but it wasn't going to be enough. A 2-1 victory for the Vegas Golden Knights in Game 2. So we split the two games at the T-Mobile Arena. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. We're, we could be in a better position, we could be in a worse position. So there you go. Logan Stanley is back for Manitoba. Awesome. So Game number 3, we move back to the Bell MTS place. Come on, boys. Game number 3, let's get this done. Eric Howler against Brian Little for the opening face-off of Game number 3. Let's do it for the home fans, Jets. First period. Okay, no score after the first again. Ten shots apiece. A very evenly matched team. Or very evenly matched opponents at the moment. Come on, Jets. Break this tie. Second period. Okay, there you go. A four-goal period. Wheeler, Line 8, Roslovic, Line 8. Beautiful job there. I asked you to break the tie. I only wanted a goal or two, but you gave me four. So I won't complain at all, Winnipeg Jets. Thank you very much. 24 shots to 19 after the second and third period. There you go. A 6-1 victory. Line A finishes the hat-trick on Malcolm Subban. Wheeler gets his second and Carrier manages to break the shutout. So in that game, Line A with four points, Wheeler with three points, and Roslovic with three points. Our first line is rocking. Marco Dano's been injured. Okay, he's out till May 14th. He's out with a hit pointer. May 14th. He'll be back soon then, I would think. He might be back for some of the playoffs. So that's not a huge loss to us, purely for the fact that we can just bring in Patan. Or Andrew Kopp. Let's bring in Andrew Kopp. Bring in Andrew Kopp. Um, Versteeg, you're a depth forward, right? You're a third checking line forward, so let's move you up here. Connor, you are a second line forward technically, but then again, so is Perot. And he's got eight points. Connor, you've got zero points. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move Connor onto the second line again, see if we can get him going. So we kind of need all of our players uh, contributing to the score. So 14 points in nine games for Patrick Laine. He is playing very well. So, game number four of the series. If we win this one, then we are one game away from the next round. So let's do this. At home. Let's win both games at home. Shut this down in Vegas. Shifley against Carlson for the opening face-off of game number four of the second round. First period. Okay, it is a 3-1 lead to Vegas. So, Riley Smith gets a pair. Cody Eakin scores one. Nikolai Ehlers manages to get one. It's a 3-1 lead to Vegas. 14 shots to 7 in favour of the Golden Knights. Come on, Jets. Fight back in this game, boys. Second period. Okay, no score in the second. 18 shots to 17 in favour of Vegas. Times they simulate the third. If it goes 4-1 to Vegas, then we'll just sim the rest of the period. That's not looking very good. Oh, no. Oh, no. 5-on-3. Wow, we spent half the period on the penalty kill. 
we're not going to win this game, are we? We're not even going to tie this game. No, I'm not really feeling it. You spent half the third period on the penalty kill. It's just not going to happen, really, is it? There you go. A 3-1 victory to Vegas. Not surprised, given that third period. So the series is tied. So we both went 1-1 one and one in our home and away games this series. So against Vegas. Oh, Sherrott is back to play. Perfect. We were winning games when Sherrott was in the lineup. So I'll, I'll stick him back in. Sorry, Joe Morrow. I know you wanted to be in the lineup, but... Sherrott's got to come back. He's a defensive defenseman. That's what I need right now. So Ben Sherrott is back. Uh, meetings available. I'll dismiss that. I'm really not that interested right now. So, 1st of May, I believe it is. Yes, it is. 1st of May, game number five. Whoever wins this, we won this last series. Whoever wins this is going through to the next round of the playoffs. Let's do it, boys. I'm ready. Here we go. So, Oscar Lindbergh against Mark Scheifele for the opening face-off of game number five. Come on, Jets. You need to win this. First period. Okay, it is a 1-1 game. Nikolai Ehlers opens the scoring, but Thomas Nosek scores on Hellebuck. 10 shots to 9, though, in favour of Winnipeg. So that's a good stat. Come on, Jets, let's do this. Second period. Okay, it's a 2-2 game. Tatar manages to break the tie, but then Big Buff manages to tie it up again. 24 shots to 18 in favour of Winnipeg. Eight-time simulation for the third. Come on, Jets. No, Riley Smith. Why would you do that to me? Come on, Winnipeg. Tie this game up again, boys. Come on, power play. Thank you very much, Mark Scheifele. Good job, son. Right, we've got the momentum. We've just scored the latest goal. Thank you, Nikolai Ehlers. Second goal of the game for you. And Brian Little on the power play. There we go. We needed that offense to roll. Depth scoring. Beautiful. First line and second line contributing. Josh Morrissey scores the empty net goal. A 6-3 victory against Vegas. We were 3-1. No, we weren't. We were... 3-2 two, two down that game, I should say. It was 1-1. We opened the scoring. Then they took the lead. 2-1. Then we tied it 2-2. And we fought back to take that victory. Oh, that's good. Wow, the Maple Leafs swept the Tampa Bay Lightning. Jesus. And the Capitals beat the Penguins again. We're, if we win this series, we're going up against the St. Louis Blues for the conference finals. Oh, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be very, very interesting. A couple of people want to have a few chats with me. Why? What's going on, fellas? Patrick Laine, I think my performance is definitely something to be proud of. You can always do better. Don't rest on your laurels. And he loves that. Good. Shifley, it feels awesome playing extra ice out there. There's a lot of guys working hard to earn some ice time. He loved it. My, uh, my performance is something I'm not proud of. We need you to produce. And he loves it. I love that they all love that response. It makes my life so much easier. Okay, so. Game number six of the series. Can we shut this series down in six like last series? We win this game. We're through to the conference finals. Let's do it. Eakin against Shifley for the opening face-off of game number six in Winnipeg. Let's do this. First period. Okay, it is a 2-1 lead to us. Patrick Laine and Brian Little score, but Paul Stastny scores on Connor Hellebuck. Ten shots to nine in favour of Winnipeg. Come on, Jets. Get that insurance marker. Shut this series down. Second period. Okay, so they managed to get one. Ryan Reeves scores, but Josh Morrissey has broken the tie again. 20 shots to 19 in favour of Vegas, though. Times they simulate the third period. A power play for Vegas. Power play for Vegas. And we kill it off. Well done, Jets. Good job. Come on, let's 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 get this uh, get the insurance marker. Good penalty kill by the Jets in the third. Very clutch play. Another penalty. And we kill it off. Well done, Jets. I mean, first of all, don't take the penalties. Second of all, thanks for killing them off. And as the period comes to an end, a 3-2 victory for the Winnipeg Jets. And the second straight series where we've won it in six games. Perfect. 16 points in 12 games for Patrick Laine. And they're balanced. Eight goals, eight assists. Very balanced work there. So we are going up against the St. Louis Blues for the Western Conference Finals of 2019. Oh, this is going to be an interesting one, ladies and gents. They made a lot of changes in the offseason. Will they pan out? Who knows? Let's find out. The series was a walk in the park. Joe Morrow loved it. That's a good, that's a good thing. Right, he loves that approach. My performance is a non-issue. I mean, you're not wrong. Okay, good. So, back in this game, gents. Here we go. The conference finals. The 5th of May, 2019. Game 1 at the Enterprise Centre in St. Louis. Here we go, boys. Let's do this. Conference finals. This is where we got last season. Lowry against Barbashev for the opening face-off of game 1 of round 3. Come on, Jets. First period. Okay, it's a 3 0 lead to the St. Louis Blues. Tarasenko with a pair and Braden Shen with a goal. That's not good. 12 shots to 8 in favour of St. Louis. Come on, Jets. Do you want to fight back in this game? 
Second period. Wow. They actually fought back in this game. Ross Levick, Patrick Laine, and Mark Shifley all score in the second. And the game is tied going into the third. I did not expect that at all. 22 shots to 19 in favour of St. Louis. Times 8 simulation. We are riding the momentum here, Winnipeg. Let's get that tie-breaking goal. We'll win this game. Go to game two and we'll have the one nothing series lead. Come on, Winnipeg. Let's do this, boys. Thank you very much. Dmitry Kulikov. What a depth goal. Beautiful. Bottom pair left defenseman manages to get the tie-breaking goal. Matthew Perot adds another one on Jake Allen. Jaden Schwartz adds one. But it looks like that's all she wrote. Oh, thank you, Kulikov and Perot. Matthew Perot with the game-winning goal. What a comeback in that game, though, for the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, Braden Shen, Tarasenko, they all get the three stars, but we won. So, not really sure how that works. Okay. 18 points in 13 games for Lyle. Another goal and an assist. He's basically averaging a goal and an assist every game. Well, more than that, to be fair. Okay, game two at the Enterprise Center. They won 51 games this season. Let's knock them out in the playoffs. Shifley against Ryan O'Reilly for the opening face-off. Come on, boys. First period. Okay, 2-0 lead to them. Braden Shen with a pair of goals. 14 shots to 8 in favour of St. Louis. Can we have another comeback here, Winnipeg? I would love that. Come on, boys. Second period. Okay, no score in the second. 26 shots to 18 in favour of St. Louis. If it goes 3-0, we'll sim the rest of the period. Times 8 simulation for now. Winnipeg, let's get back in this game. It's only two goals. Power play for them. Kill it off. Good kill. Got half the period left, Winnipeg. Power play for us. Okay, we can't score on the power play. Looks like it's going to be a tie series going back to Winnipeg. Okay, there you go. So a tie series, a 2 nothing shutout victory for the St. Louis Blues in game two of the series. Wasn't expecting it to be easy. It is the Western Conference Finals. So no goals scored there. That means 18 points in 14 games for Patrick Lyon. He's had a fantastic playoffs. Both series are at least going to five games. So at least they're competitive, these conference finals. Okay, game number three. In Winnipeg, let's do this. Let's take the series lead again. Braden Shen against Kyle Connor for the opening face-off. Come on, Winnipeg. Do it for your home fans. Take them to the Stanley Cup Finals. First period. It's a 2 nothing lead again for the St. Louis Blues. Alexander Steen and Braden Shen score on Hellebuck. 13 shots to 9 in favour of uh, St. Louis. They're just really good at getting those opening goals. And we can't fight back. Come on, Winnipeg. Fight back this time, please. Second period. Okay, it's a 2-1 lead. Okay, Patrick Laine manages to cut the lead in half. 24 shots to 15 in favour of St. Louis. Times 8 simulate the third period. Come on, Winnipeg. Tie this game. Okay, Ryan O'Reilly scores. Great. Come on, Winnipeg. Let's fight back in this game, please. Thank you very much, Brendan Lemieux. Thank you, son. Okay, let's get one more. Let's get one more, Winnipeg, and tie this game up. That's all we need. One more. Take it to OT. Win it in OT. We're running out of time here, Winnipeg. Come on, Jets. You know you want to tie this game up. You're running out of time here, boys. Nope, that's going to be it. Okay, so a 3-2 victory for the St. Louis Blues in the Western Conference Finals. Jacob Troop has been injured. Oh, my goodness. May 20th, 2019. He's going to basically be out for the rest of the series. Okay, so a 2-1 series lead for the St. Louis Blues, I believe. Marco Dano's back for the next game. Fair enough. So, game number four of the series. If we win this, it's a best of three. If we lose this, then we've got a bit of a problem. We're one game away from elimination. Here we go. Let's do this, Winnipeg Jets. Come on, boys. We can do this. Blake Wheeler against Ryan O'Reilly for the opening face-off. Come on, Winnipeg Jets. Tie this series up at home. First period. Okay, it's a one nothing lead to the St. Louis Blues this time. David Perron returning to St. Louis manages to get the opening goal. However, the biggest problem, 14 shots to four in favour of St. Louis. They're over doubling, tripling us up, I should say. On shots, which isn't very good. Come on, Winnipeg. Can we get some more shots? Maybe score a few goals. Second period. Good. There we go. A three-goal second period. Little, Shifley, and Line. Good. 24 shots to 18 in favour of St. Louis. We've got the three goals, and that's the most important thing. Times 8 simulating. If it goes 4-1, we'll sim the rest of the period. Just want to see what happens here in the third. Thank you, Patrick Line. Perfect job. And Blake Wheeler gets one. So everybody on the first line managed to score a goal in that game. Shifley four points, Line four points, and Connor Hellebuck the third star, allowing one goal in the game. Okay, so it's a best of three series now. 23 points in 16 games for Patrick Line. He scored 12 goals and 11 assists in the playoffs. That's tremendous. And the uh, other series, the Caps and the Maple Leafs, have also gone to six games at least. So game number five, back in St. Louis. Let's get this done. 
Come on, Jets. We can do this. Shen against Shifley for the opening face-off. Jets, let's take this series lead. Shut it down back at home. First period. Okay, it's a 2 nothing lead again for the St. Louis Blues. Why can't we score the first goal in the game? We are so inept at doing that against the St. Louis Blues. However, the shot differential after the first period is better than it was last game. 12 shots to 8 in favour of St. Louis. Come on, Jets. Fight back. Second period. Okay, it's a 4-1 lead for the St. Louis Blues here. 20 shots to 18 in favour of Winnipeg. Carl Connor manages to get his first goal of the playoffs, but it's not going to be enough. Let's just simulate the third period. Third period. There you go. We managed to get another one. Blake Wheeler patches his stats, but it's a 4-2 victory for the St. Louis Blues. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to have to change Carl Connor again. He's, he's scored a goal in that game, but he's done practically nothing ever since we started this. So Matthew Perot, you are going back on the second line. Probably should have done this earlier, but here we are. So, we are facing elimination here in the Western Conference Finals. We are going to game number six. Basically getting flashbacks from last year. Uh, player morale. Okay, let's have, let's have a team meeting. We are facing elimination here, folks. We need to step it up. Our fans are calling for some heads. Cop realises it. Uh, coming to grips with being scratched. Well, get used to it if you don't actually do anything. Lack of playing time. Shut up. There you go. <laughs> That's how I deal with things. Oh, I think uh, Line's playing at a 90 overall as well, which is pretty good. So, game number six of the series. Times eight simulation because we're facing elimination. Look at me busting rhymes any time. Okay, here we go. Eight times simulation. Just don't let them have a one or two nothing lead after the first period. If we can get the first goal in this game, we might be okay. Power play for the St. Louis Blues. We kill it off. Well done, boys. Come on, Jets. We need some more shots on goal here. We need to get some more shots here, Jets, because otherwise they're going to score the first goal. And I don't want that to happen. Power play. There you go. See, Ryan O'Reilly scores the first goal of the game. Every single game so far this series, they have scored the first goal. So at the end of the first period, a 1-0 lead for St. Louis. 13 shots to 7 in favour of St. Louis. Going into the second period. Come on, Jets. You need to get some shots on goal and tie this game up. You, you haven't had a shot in about 8 minutes. Wow. It took you until 11.59. Jaden Schwartz manages to score. Uh, this is going to be a blowout game. We just cannot get any shots on goal. Their defense isn't even that good. That's what I'm kind of shocked about. Come on, Jets. So, they're going to be on the power play going into the third period. We are two goals down, 22 shots to 15 in favor of St. Louis. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this is the end of the road for the Winnipeg Jets this, series, this season. I should say this playoffs, this series. Okay, starting with a power play for them. We kill it off. Come on, Winnipeg. Fight back in this game. The St. Louis Blues aren't that good of a team. Come on, Winnipeg. Fight back. Get one goal, then get the next one. It's not that difficult. Winnipeg, please. We've got to go to the Stanley Cup Finals, Winnipeg. Brian Little scores with 4.37 left. Come on. Somebody else be a hero. Somebody else be a hero. No! And with that crushing 2-1 loss, the Winnipeg Jets are out of the playoffs. Six games. Every single series we played went to six games. Patrick Lyon, 24 points in 18 games. He had a tremendous playoffs. Wow. That's just so sad. 23 points for Mark Scheifele. 20 points for Blake Wheeler. Three players had over a point per game in the playoffs. Nikolai Ehlers, almost 16 points in 18 games. Matthew Pro 11 points in 18. Brian Little, 14 in 18. That's pretty decent. That's such a shame, though. That is such a shame. Ah, oh, cannot believe we lost that. We were that close. The problem was we couldn't score the first goal. That was the thing that really bit us in the arse that entire series. Jacob Truber's back. Well, that's nice. So let's see who wins the Stanley Cup, ladies and gents. I'm expecting it to be the Capitals. Oh, no. The Maple Leafs made it to the finals. Are they going to win their first cup in 50 years? Are they going to do it? Yes, they are. Ladies and gentlemen, you have seen it here first. The Toronto Maple Leafs will win the 2018-19 Stanley Cup Championship. For the first time in like 50 years, they're going to win the Stanley Cup. Wow. John Tavares clearly did a lot for that team. <laughs> right, so we're going to sim to the draft. We'll end the episode once we get to the draft. And then next episode, we'll go through the off-season. So let's just get up to that point. So the Philadelphia Flyers are having the first overall pick of this draft. The New York Rangers have two picks in the top 15. Okay, so we, he wanted us to advance to the Stanley Cup final. I mean, I tried my best. So let's take a look at the draft class. Did we scout any more of the players at the top of the list? A gem. Okay, so 
Krebs is meant to be a gem. That's interesting. So, like, your scouts can determine whether they're gems or busts. That's really interesting. Okay, so we're looking at medium top six defensemen. Uh, medium top six forwards. Top four defensemen. We're probably going to have the 27th pick, right? No, we're probably going to have the 28th, 29th pick. I would expect us to have the 29th pick. So Nolan Foote might be the guy that we get. He had, I mean, he had 59 points in 66 games this last season. Uh, his scouting's been relatively okay. Personality takes winning seriously. Has incredible drive to win. Loyalty is a concern. Oh, loyalty is a concern. Hmm. But he wants to win. Right, let's view the retired players list. Let's have a look. So, Chris Kunitz has decided to call it a day. The undrafted forward had 648 points in over 1,000 NHL games. Brian Giont has called it a day. Nathan Horton, I mean, he's technically a Stanley Cup champion, but he's technically not as well. Fair play. UC Jokinen, Brian Giont has called it a day. Milan Michalik. Uh, let's see all the players from the Toronto Maple Leafs. Who retired as Stanley Cup champions? Probably not many of them, because they're a very young team. Uh, Toronto Maple Leafs. So, uh, Denise Seidenberg has retired as a Stanley Cup champion too. Wow, you heard it here first, ladies and gents. Wow, that's crazy. So, uh, oh, the following retired players are now a scout. Johan Franzen and Dominic Moore. Oh, can we find some? Can we find some scouts? Before we carry on, I want to I want to check my scouts as well. Assign scouts. We had we had some space at the start of last season to assign some more scouts. So I, I want to get some more. Higher scouts. Here we go. Let's see if we can get some ex-players on it. Why not? Let's do it. Johan Franzen and Dominic Moore have become scouts. Uh, yep, yeah, okay. So, uh, Dominic Moore. He's got pretty decent... Stats, to be fair. 39 years old. Team's interested in that. I'm signing Dominic Moore to a contract. I'm definitely signing Dominic Moore to be a scout. I will offer him the contract that he wants. There you go. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much. Alright, uh, so Dominic Moore is available. Uh, all regions. Yeah, I'm not that fussed about that. Um, let's check the age. Uh, Johan Franzen, where would he be? Actually, no. Um, overall. We want the overall stats, don't we? Um, Payette Holmberg. Hey. Um, two years for Holmberg in the OHL. Let's do that. Sure. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Wonderful. So, I'll try and sign those two scouts. I have space for one more, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I have space for one more. But the scout salary I've got at the moment is quite high. So, let's let's see what happens. So, let's go. Are we at the NHL entry draft? Oh, we're there already. Okay. So, um, I'm going to end this episode here, ladies and gentlemen. Next episode, we will go through our first ever off-season with the Winnipeg Jets. Hopefully, we can make those minor moves that we need to make in order to make this an NHL powerhouse. Maybe Eric Carlson will be available, so we'll try and sign him if he's available. Him and Big Buff on the line would be incredible. We have the salary cap for him, so why not? But yes, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, or watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye!